The opening question for Freud uh, investigating the human unconsciousness was, uh, was the madness. Here we are in front of uh, the furious uh, self-portrait of the furious Hodler. Uh, this is a painting that he created when he was not even 30 years old. And you really see like how, uh, how the uh, inner expression is trying to get out and how the artist is trying to capture something that is really difficult to capture. And uh, so uh, for me, uh, this uh, painting was another uh, point to link with uh, Freud's theory and the ways how he was describing the unconsciousness. So as you remember, uh, Freud uh, was, de was describing the mistakes, the dreams, and the outbursts of madness to speak about the inner uh, reality and something that is beyond rationality. And for him, the madness and the fury and exactly like these emotions that are so difficult to grasp are really the moments where the almighty I is absent. The moment where the wave of fury is coming to us, we can really say, this is not me who is thinking right now. This is something outside. So in this room that I call the uh, stranger in the self, we are trying to capture these moments of, of the uh, absence of, uh, of the rational eye. And also, these are the, really the moments that are contradicting the, uh, the uh, self-conscious and self-esteemed, self-established uh, uh, human subject. This is also the way how the 19th century painters, Hodler, but here you are seeing the works by uh, Paul Klee, and there's also the works by uh, uh, Ernst Kreidhoff, uh, so these are the words that are trying to capture the nature of criminality, madness, and, uh, and the way how they are trying to capture the instincts and the, uh, the, the, the actions that are beyond logic, beca beyond rationality.